Daytona Beach, Florida is home to Hankster's Hot Rods, Muscle Car, and Collector Car Showroom. America's number one choice for premier collector cars for over 30 years. Today we have a Hankster certified unit to present to you. It is a generation of vehicle that we do extremely well with, the first generation Chevrolet Camaro. This one's a big block car. It is a, like I said, a certified unit, so let's check it out. Let's start out with the sticker on the air cleaner that says 396. Uh, it is a 454 in the car. Uh, the cowl tag is present, so we will uh, take a photograph of that and put it on our website so you can break that down if you choose to. Um, the black contraption you see on the driver's side firewall, that is your power brake booster. So the car is equipped with power brakes. Uh, the car is equipped with updated electric uh, peekaboo hideaway headlights. Um, those do function, so we will show you those here in the video as well. Buried down beneath the alternator, that's your power steering reservoir. So the car does have power steering. And that contraption there, that is your AC compressor. The car is equipped with air conditioning and it does work. Uh, color, I guess it's like a teal, like a uh, seafoam green, I guess. Uh, really nice color, classy color, good looking car, great combination um, all around. Let's start out on the hood, uh, the hood scoop here. Um, all the paint on the top of the hood, real nice condition. Same thing with the paint on the top of the fenders. There's no clear coat fade, no blistering, bubbling, cracking. Uh, the stripe across the front here, that is vinyl. Uh, looks to be in pretty good shape throughout. SS in the front grill, we are not marketing it as a true SS car. You guys can, you know, debate that back and forth on your forums. We are mark, marketing the vehicle as an SS style car. Uh, once again, the uh, hideaway headlights do work. The uh, front bumper chrome looks to be in good shape. Your uh, lower spoiler there that is plastic, um, that is in one piece. <clears throat> Stepping around to the driver's side of the car, uh, got, it has a uh, Newer Toyo tires on it. We'll check those when we are on the uh, lift with the car. Five star American racing wheels. Uh, looking through, you have uh, drilled rotors, Willwood uh, brakes. Uh, really a nice uh, package on this car in terms of uh, the braking system. Four wheel disc brakes on the vehicle. <clears throat> Once again, 396. Uh, it is a big block car, but it is a 454 car. The um, paint on the front fender there around your wheel opening. Down low, up high, uh, the paint throughout looks to be in real good shape. <clears throat> Let's take a look here at the front windshield. Glass clarity is good. Uh, I don't see anything cracked or chipped. Uh, nothing is excessively scratched. All of your uh, chrome molding that encompasses the front windshield, that looks to be in nice shape. No issues with the vinyl top, starting with the uh, front windshield here, above the front windshield. Uh, no issues there, no issues down the A-pillar. Nothing going on around the drip rails. Really nice vinyl top on the car. <clears throat> Jumping back to our glass condition, vent window glass, door glass, quarter glass, all in real nice shape on this car. We'll move down to the driver door, the paint um, up high here and then down low on the uh, door, all in real nice condition, no blistering, bubbling, cracking. Uh, you do have a uh, lower uh, aluminum moldings there to cover the rocker and a portion of the door, fender, and quarter. Um, you know, looks like a couple little small dents down there, but you get that on the Camaros and the GTOs. It's aluminum. They sit low. They take road debris. It's bound to happen. <clears throat> Driver door panel in real nice shape. Paint up top here, not worn off. Uh, vinyl in the center, real good. Um, the door panel itself is not all warped at the bottom. Armrest is not falling off the car, not torn. Courtesy lights illuminating in both the uh, driver floor and the passenger floor when I open up the driver door here. Let's take a look in the back seat of this car. The uh, vinyl's in real awesome shape back there. Uh, your uh, courtesy lights are illuminated in your sail panels. OEM front seat belts. Vinyl on the driver's seats in real nice shape, no issues there. Has that high-end uh, wood steering wheel, that looks good. Has tilt wheel, has upgraded auto meter gauge package. Um, 
carpeting underneath the uh, Camaro floor mat there. That's in real nice shape. Uh, center console staple shifter car. So far, so good as far as the interior is concerned. Let's jump to the rear quarter of the vehicle and check out the paint high and low. <clears throat> no paint issues to speak of, low on the quarter, around the wheel opening. The paint throughout the uh, driver's rear quarter is in real nice condition on the car. Back to glass. Um, glass clarity here out of the rear window. You know, a couple faint scratches as, you know, is the case with most first gen Camaros. Um, but uh, overall pretty nice. No uh, issues going on back here as far as the uh, vinyl tops concerned, all nice and solid. There's a little dent there in your uh, window molding somehow happened. <clears throat> Deck lid, spoiler, paint on both of those real good. Um, no uh, clear coat fade, spider webs, blisters, cracks, bubbles. Chrome on the rear bumpers in great shape. <clears throat> no chrome peel, no rust around the bumper bolts, no uh, rust patina. And the same thing with the uh, tail light bezels. Tail light bezels are in real nice shape. Those look newer. <clears throat> Do not have any documentation on this car. Uh, there is a little uh, bag with the binder and some uh, paperwork, but it's just paperwork for like the vintage air system and some other upgrades that have been done to the car. There's nothing in there as far as, you know, they're just like manuals and stuff. Nothing in there as far as, uh, you know, the restoration's concerned, when the car was painted, anything like that. Uh, does have Dynamat in the trunk back here. Um, you know, I'm going to have to assume that it's solid. Uh, most people just put this in there for, you know, purposes of uh, eliminating the rattles and whatnot. But, uh, you know, we didn't take it out of there. We didn't put it in there. So, but uh, no jack, no spare, just a uh, simple trunk mat. So that's kind of what you got here in the back. And the paperwork will come with the car. <coughs> Passenger side, um, same deal here. We got uh, real nice body lines on the car um, and real nice paint. Uh, the, the overall paint on the car is uh, extremely nice for a driver quality paint job. You do have a crack right here. You know, the Camaros all do this in the same exact spot. You know, 67, eight and nines, it's just, uh, you know, it is what it is. So they got that crack going on there. But um, other than that, we're in pretty good shape here as far as the rear quarter is concerned. You have uh, real nice paint throughout the entire rear quarter, both high and low. Again, the vinyl top, there's no issues there. The drop down here to the rear quarter, your seam at the top, behind the drip rail. <clears throat> and back to our glass uh, quality, um, quarter glass, uh, door glass, vent window glass, all look to be in nice shape. Your door closes uh, real nice and tight there to the rear quarter. Your body lines line up. Take a look in the passenger side here. Um, door panel, once again in nice shape. Looks like a newer uh, door panel, both on the driver and passenger side of the car. You have um, brand new Camaro floor mats, a pretty decent carpet in there. You have uh, your courtesy lights again illuminating into the floor on the uh, driver and passenger side. Uh, the vinyl on the passenger seat looks real good, both on the seat back and on the seat bottom. Door sills nice. Uh, your door jams are nice and clean. Your paint's real nice, not rusted or all chipped to hell. So you got uh, good stuff going on with our 67 Camaro here. It gets it even better when we put it in the air. We'll show you the undercarriage. Uh, the <coughs> passenger side door. You know, once again, no paint issues going on. And the uh, passenger side front fender, you know, you have that 396 designation again there, but the uh, overall paint quality throughout the entire front fender on the passenger side is real nice. <coughs> so, that is our 1967 Big block Chevrolet Camaro walk around presentation with power steering, power brakes, and AC. We're gonna put it up in the air. I'll show you the undercarriage of this car. It's absolutely outstanding. You'll be uh, quite uh, 
amazed at how much money's been spent on the undercarriage of this car. I know I was. So, Before we do that, I want to encourage you to visit our showroom in person to check out this 1967 Camaro or any other piece of inventory we have available for sale. We have a 25,000 square foot showroom here in Daytona Beach, um, 60 to 70 cars on hand, most of which we own. Uh, I encourage you, before pulling the trigger on a 30, 40, 50 year old car, to come check it out for yourself. We have this awesome facility in Daytona Beach and we get a lot of tourists through the door as well as a lot of buyers throughout the United States and throughout the world for that matter. Um, but at the end of the day, we are an internet-based business. We take 80 to 100 photos of each one of our cars and we do a 20 to 25 minute video presentation. The reason we do this is because the majority of our transactions are done sight unseen and we've been doing this a long time, selling classic cars, collector cars, sight unseen. So hopefully our longevity in this business and the amount of units we move through our Pennsylvania showroom and our Daytona location tells you something about our business model and what kind of quality and quantity of vehicle we move month after month and year after year through each one of our showrooms. But they're old cars. So there's a lot of nostalgia. There's a lot of uh, appeal to these classic cars. That's why they're up in both desirability, value, and also in, in price. But they have cosmetic defects, they have mechanical deficiencies, you know, some of which we try to disclose and point out in these video presentations, but we can't cover every last inch of the car um, in our videos. But you can when you're here and visiting us in person. We'll gladly pull the car outside for you. You can check it out real good out in the natural sunshine um, in person, interior, exterior. We'll put it in the air for you if you'd like. You can check out the undercarriage of the vehicle like we're going to do here momentarily. We'll let you drive the car. You can see if there's anything you don't like about the way the car rides, handles, steers, stops, if there's any kind of squeaks you don't like or vibrations you don't like. This way, you're here yourself. You experience the car firsthand, and uh, there's no surprises when the vehicle shows up. Let's put our 1967 Camaro up in the air and check out the undercarriage of the vehicle. Underneath our heavily optioned 1967 Camaro, uh, where do we want to start? Uh, disc brakes up front, tubular upper and lower control arms, ride tech coilovers, a complete uh, rack and pinion steering setup. You can get a look at the front of the pan there, that's nice and dry, front seal. Uh, oil pan gasket on both the driver and the passenger side. Uh, upgraded um, sw front sway bar. Uh, updated engine cradle here. The whole engine cradle is all updated. Just a fantastic setup. A lot of money spent on the undercarriage and the uh, suspension and the steering and the brakes. Uh, headers, long tube headers. Uh, Hypo mini starter and while we're looking at that we can check the uh, passenger side of the, the pan there. Same thing with the drivers, check out the driver. Everything nice and dry at this time. Uh, as far as the headers are concerned I don't see anywhere where they're collapsed or punctured or rusted so that's a good thing. Flywheels covered on the car. Transpan gasket looks good, looks nice and dry at this time, no issues there. Um, the exhaust system, dual pipes, floor pans, driver's side looks good all the way back, passenger side the same way, you can see all nice and solid, one piece there. Um, the whole uh, framework of this car has all been updated. Um, you know, with the cross members and the uh, updated frame rails over here, just, once again, just a high-end uh, build underneath here. Uh, Magnaflow mufflers. Four-wheel disc brakes. And, of course, you got your Ride Tech uh, rear suspension as well. 
Gas tank looks good. That looks newer. Uh, Toyo tires, um, those are uh, newer also, have plenty of tread. They are from 2023. So no dry rotting or cracking or very nice unit, very high end uh, undercarriage on our 67 Camaro. We're going to set it down on the ground, take it out on test drive. <clears throat> Before we do that, let's discuss our payment options. If you're a cash buyer, we accept cashier's check from your bank and bank wire transfer. If you're financing, the collector car lenders we work with will do 5 to 15 year loans on these cars, 10% down of the purchase price. So if you're talking about a $50,000 car, you're talking about five grand down. You can put more down if you would like to, but they require a minimum of 10%, even if your credit score is perfect. If your credit score is a little lower or your debt to income ratio is a little higher, they might even require 15 or 20% down. But that's between you and the lending institution. We have no say in that. We simply provide the means of a lender uh, for classic cars. Once the vehicle is funded in full, we put the car through a pre-delivery inspection. We check lug nut torque, reverse lights, horn, wipers, check for leaks. They're old cars. Anything can happen. Anything can start, start leaking. Anything can stop working in any given moment. Therefore, we put the vehicle through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility and heading your direction. Once it's through inspection, it goes through detail, and then a carrier is dispatched if we are the ones handling the shipment. We can typically have a driver here within a 48-hour window. However, if you're in a more difficult destination, allow us four, five, six business days to get your car moving. But I promise you, we will get you your car as quickly and as safely as we possibly can. <clears throat> Are you interested in the upgrades on this Camaro? Uh, we did not do any of them, but this is everything that Hangster's Garage can do. You know, rack and pinion steering, four-wheel power disc brakes, uh, ride tech uh, suspension, uh, custom exhaust system, uh, vintage air, wheels and tires. Anything you'd pretty much like to accessorize or change on your classic car or even your late model. You know, uh, Hangster's Garage gets into uh, trucks, Jeeps, SUVs, lighting packages, Nerf bars, winches, uh, weather tech items, uh, all that stuff. So HangstersGarage.com, you know, there's a the phone number and the extension. Uh, you know, make sure you hit the extension for the garage. You'll get a hold of Nate and he can give you a quote or get you on the schedule to get whatever you want to have done, done to your vehicle. Let's put our 1967 Chevy Camaro down on the ground. We'll take it for a test drive and see how it runs out. Okay, 67 Camaro. First of all, we have the air on. Turn it up a little bit here. Blowing cold. I like it. Horn. Tilt. Wipers. Gauges, uh, 3137 is the mileage on odometer, true mileage unknown, title reads exempt, our temps up to a buck 50, tack, uh, voltage, oil pressure, fuel, all working. Radio does not work, <clears throat> Hangster's Garage can put you in one that does work, but that's not part of our, wow, this AC is cold. That's not part of our certification process, so. Um, the wood grain in the center console is a little faded right there, so be aware of that. Um, otherwise, we are in good shape. Oh, uh, driver's side turn. Passenger side turn. Okay. Let's drive it. This is an awesome car. Nice tight steering. Uh, temps were cooling properly. Speedo's working. No engine vibrations, tranny vibrations, tire vibrations. The car tracks nice and straight. good acceleration ice cold air this is a cool car that's 70 without an issue 
going to come up here to a traffic light. We'll show you the brakes. Remember, four-wheel power disc brakes on this car. And they work fantastic. I mean, as soon as you step on the pedal, you barely have to step on the pedal. Nice car. Once again, that's 70 miles an hour. So coming down now. It gets up there without an issue. Here we are, 50. No front end vibration, nice and tight. Tracks nice and straight. Steering wheels lined up. This is a good car right here. Temp check. We're not even a buck eighty. It's cooling just like it should. Awesome. Three eight six nine four four nine two one nine is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. It's where you can find all the photos of this car along with this video presentation you're watching right at this very moment. At full retail price, our 67 Camaro includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty covers the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. Internal components. It does not cover brakes, batteries, starters, alternators, anything like that. Um, all that stuff is on you. Is the price of the vehicle negotiable? Most certainly it is. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, the shipping comes off. At full retail price, we vest the driver, make sure they're properly licensed, bonded, and insured. We arrange the pickup at our showroom. We arrange the delivery to you. We track the progress of the shipment. We pay the driver when they come to pick the car up. At a negotiated price point, you will do all that legwork on your own. <clears throat> Maybe you're a collector or an investor that has your own method of transportation be it a carrier you've used in the past you had a good experience with or your own trailer of some sort you're more than welcome to come get the car yourself or send your own driver and if you're local to us here in the sunshine state you'll be cooling properly and you have ice cold air hangsters hot rods daytona beach florida hangsters.com check us out